pretty abysmal situation. Where, where we are right now is that everybody is recognizing, oops, it was a big mistake by the Trump administration to obliterate the entire infrastructure of pandemic response that the Obama administration had created. Why did he do it? Well, it certainly wasn't about the money, because it wasn't a heavily funded program. It was certainly because it was Obama's program. And explain. You're talking about the unit within the Centers for Disease Control. No, we're talking about something much vaster than that. It was a special division inside the National Security Council, a special division inside of the Department of Homeland Security that Bozo was talking from. and. Uh, uh, collaborating centers in HHS headquarters in Washington, um, the Office of Global Health Affairs, um, and the Commerce Department, Treasury Department. But what, what Obama understood dealing with Ebola in 2014 is that any American response had to be an all-of-government response, that there were so many agencies overlapping, and they all had a little piece of the puzzle in the case of a pandemic. Just th do this mental exercise with me, Amy. If we, if we get to the situation where we're anything like what's going on in China right now, then our Department of Commerce our Department of Transportation and our Department of USDA would have to collaborate to get food deliveries all over America so that parts of America don't starve. And you could see in China convoys, hundreds of 18-wheeler vehicles completely full of food coming into Wuhan every single day. Do we have the capacity to coordinate that? What the Obama administration realized was that you can't corral multiple agencies and things from private sector as well as public sector to come to the aid of America unless you have some one person in charge who's really the manager of it all. And that in his case, it was Ron Klain, who uh, had worked under uh, Vice President Biden. And he was designated with an office inside the White House to give orders and coordinate all these various things. Well, that was all eliminated. It's gone. And now they're hastily trying to recreate something. And, and last night, there were many names tossed around about who he was going to appoint as head of the response. He had previously gone on the record, President Trump, saying, I have great faith in Secretary Azar and my HHS secretary will be in charge. And we're told uh, from multiple sources that right up until they got on stage for that press briefing, Azar thought he was in charge. And then the president says, and here's my good friend Mike Pence, and he's taking charge. If the healthcare workers aren't really on their toes, really alert, thinking what if, and they don't have the right protective gear, then as they examine that patient, they become infected. And so, this is this is our problem right now. Now, this particular case in Northern California is very worrying because the individual lived uh, in a rural area, was not a traveler, didn't know any travelers, was a local worker of some sort. We don't know a lot of details. Sixty-one-year-old male, um, and was in various health facilities, getting misdiagnosed, and it was the health providers themselves who were saying to. Uh, the public health uh, of California, which was in turn saying it to CDC in Atlanta, we want this person tested for the coronavirus. We think that's what this is. And the CDC said, no, it doesn't look like it, and didn't do a test.